Hey guys, how's it going? This is Perger of MediaAlternatives.net, your newest website for alternative news and media. Um, had a few things I wanted to go over with you on this evening. And uh, first, I want to go ahead and make a few comments about the inauguration today because a lot of people, of course, have been saying, well, change has finally come and the country has finally changed. And I want to remind people since um, Barack Obama has decided to so connect himself with Martin Luther King uh, since yesterday was Martin Luther King Day I would like to remind people to judge people on the content of their character and not uh, what they're saying or what they're trying to portray themselves as being so in other words judge him by the content of his character and not what he is um, just telling you to think about him uh, and if you do that that's what will set you apart from the sheeple and what will actually make you a, a critical and objective person and you'll be better for it uh, so here um, just had a few things to go over here with you on uh, looks like Dow Jones Industrial dropped uh, 332 points uh, which is uh, four percent today uh, so now it's down below 8,000 so it's, uh, it's continuing to drop and uh, so I guess now Barack Obama is going to take the place of Bush so every time he talks the stock market is going to drop <laughs> it's kind of funny <laughs> it doesn't have any rhyme or reason but um, well it does I'm just not uh, in a place to really comment on why it dropped today I think it was lower than uh, expected job numbers that came out but uh, that's just my two cents on that and I'm not an authority on that um, I wanted to go ahead and talk about this issue here uh, I was on afterdowningstreet.org and um, there was an article here another erosion of the fourth amendment the article is by Anthony Gregory and it reads as follows the Supreme Court has recently watered down the exclusionary rule in a decision that affirmed in that affirmed a conviction even where there was a bad warrant and faulty arrest now evidence obtained through negligence will be admissible meaning that police have less reason to be careful in their investigations searches and arrests the exclusionary rule is not included explicitly in the fourth amendment but is one of the few ways the amendment has any teeth if there are no consequences for prosecution when police trample in our to be free uh, I mean yeah trample on our rights to be free from unreasonable search and seizure police can be expected to face less pressure from strict attorneys to obey constitu constitutional limits on their searches it might offend our sense of justice to see criminals get away despite their clear proof or guilt simply because of a police error but this is not true I mean this is not only well this is not true not only of negligent searches but the ones where police break down doors knowing full well they have no legal right to the exclusionary rule is an important check on the abuse of state power and although it lets the occasional guilty party off it has given innocent it has given the innocent a deal of protection from arbitrary violations of their privacy ideally guilt or innocence would be all that matters but in the real world we need checks and balances in the criminal justice system just as we need relations among the different branches of government so and that's only about half the article but uh, the reason why I find the exclusionary rule to be so important is because it, it really strikes home and I mean it, it literally strikes home imagine you being in your house or your residence and imagine the police not having any warrant or let's say they have a warrant for your next door neighbor but they misread your address they kick down your front door you being an American with the right to have a gun pulls out your gun and attempts to defend your house you don't know who the person is who kicked in your front door all you know is that they don't belong in your house if a person kicks in your front door they are not coming in your house peacefully unless they would have knocked and asked if they would come in so grab your firearm you shoot the person uh, it's a cop you get charged with murder you get charged with homicide uh, probably a few other things slapped on you as a result of you killing a cop 
or let's say that the cop he has a bulletproof vest you shoot at him he shoots you and uh, either you're injured or you're killed let's say your family presses charges now what will happen is that the court will come back and they'll say well hey even though it was a mistake you still assaulted an officer therefore uh, we still have the right to prosecute you or the injured party to the full extent of the law because you attack them even though there was no way for you to tell that it was a police officer uh, so effectively taking away your right to defend your own home which I find extremely extremely troubling and um, you know yeah there's a one in a thousand chance or whatever that this could happen but that still doesn't mean that it still might not happen to you and it is a very troubling thing in the place in America in a place called America where we're supposed to be free where police can burst in anyone's door and have the law on their side regardless of whether they have a warrant or not so really bothers me personally it may bother you I uh, hope it does and uh, hopefully get out there and do something about it uh, next here and this goes with terrorism a lot of people um, and when I say a lot of people let me take that back I mean the people who want to take up for America's stance in the world and say well I don't know why these crazy radicals are attacking America we don't do anything wrong to them maybe they just attack us because we're free maybe they just attack us because we're the shining city on a hill uh, well I got news for those people when you're in your country you don't have internet access you barely have a telephone signal there's 60 percent unemployment in your country uh, you're trying to get food for your family your daughters your kids your wife your brothers your sisters I doubt that you'll care much about how someone on the other side of the planet is living okay so with that in mind let's think about this story uh, it's a story and it's on the UK independent website it says father I watched an Israeli soldier shoot my two girls uh, will actually shoot dead my two girls and um, has here a grieving Palestinian father says children were killed after family obeyed orders from troops to leave Gaza home so apparently he was following what the troops said in a tank and they came out of the tank out of the tank shot two of his girls wounded one of them pretty seriously she has a spinal injury now and all the guy was doing was doing what they said now if you guys want to get a picture for what's going on in Palestine during the whole raid there's a movie that's called Children of Men and the storyline could be of is well is really of zero importance in this case but they have a really really great sequence where the guys in a refugee camp and the refugee camp is supposed to be in Europe and you got all these people in the refugee camp and it looks I mean pretty much just like what the people would be living in in Palestine and or when let me take that away Palestine is such a vague term so I'm gonna say the Gaza Strip and what ends up happening is that these people they're in horrible conditions and you have writing on the wall the uprising and the people start to revolt so it would be the equivalent of the first or second antithada over in Gaza or over in the Gaza and the West Bank so you stick people in bad situations they're gonna fight back and it doesn't help when you have a force that comes in to wage war on people who have I mean really really stone age weapons compared to these new smart missiles that Israel uh, has with American backing of course and you know you're coming in and you're killing civilians unarmed civilians this guy is over here and you know he's he's trying to get out of his house he's trying to follow the rules and the troops kill his daughters anyway his flesh and blood people who he invested time money and his life in and they come and just take it away just like that imagine your daughter or your child or your niece or your nephew or your sister or your brother or your mom or your dad you did nothing wrong and someone comes up and shoots them 
I mean, wouldn't that be grounds for you to be angry at the person who shot him? So, once again, um, like I said, I would like people to just look at things from another perspective sometimes and just remember that people sometimes have a legitimate gripe. And the less you get in other people's lives, the less of a chance that that gripe will be about you. And even if someone does hate you, what well, they say, smother them with love, right? You don't smother them with hate. You don't smother them with machine gun fire and with smart bombs. You just give them more of a reason to hate people. In fact, there was an article that just came out that said that Hamas is more popular than ever. I mean, these guys now, I mean, they're, the word is being spread about them because they're fighting Israel now, a major state in the Middle East fighting some small group. And I mean, they're getting all sorts of 